This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his, at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the hero of time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom, none remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Atru Graham, and this is going to be another Let's Play on my channel. This is going to be The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And uh, this is going to be a 100% walkthrough. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to upload this in 10 minute segments because the recent Nintendo copyright thing, uh, so that's that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, not really trying to get into the controversial copyright stuff, let's actually play the game. Starting off with our little sister, who actually kind of reminds me of my little sister, uh, who you heard in the introduction uh, a little while ago. Uh, she's obviously not that young anymore, or, I, don't, I don't know, it's act not actually that obvious, but... I'm not 10, so she couldn't be, and she's older than 10 also. And the main character's 10 in this game, so just like she reminds me of a, of my sister when she was young. She still is young, but when she was like a, a wee lad, if you will. Yeah, how'd you, how'd you know? Favorite spot. Errol's lookout, okay. Okay, I can dig it. And claiming it for yourself. Yeah, pretty tired. 
kind of shouldn't have bothered me. Maybe I should just give her the backhand and knock her off of the... Oh, never mind. It's my birthday. She's coming to wish me a happy birthday. Don't give her the backhand, Link. Also, note how a house is in red like it's a dangerous place. <laughs> that, just, that always made me laugh, seeing the little house thing in red. Yes, she's probably worried about me or something. I don't know. We'll see. Ugh. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because, like I said, uh, 10 minute videos. So we're, we're gonna be kind of going a uh, speed running. This is actually the only, or one of the few Zelda games that I've beaten. I've beaten this and um, I've come very close to completing the, the two DS games, but then I, uh, I lost my, I lost Phantom Hourglass and oh, who's trying to get our attention? Uh, we can talk to that old man later. We don't need him. We gotta go talk to Grandma. But um, oops, don't do that. No, but uh, I've be I've come close to beating a lot of Zelda games, and just like fate has stopped me from <laughs> from beating them. This is this is one of the few that I've beaten. I've beaten this one and uh, and a link to the past. But other than that, for some reason, I just can't seem to ever play this game to completion. Not because I don't like them. I want to complete all of them, but it just it eludes me for some reason. Try on our uh, legendary green tunic. Yeah, look at Link's face. He's not very excited about those tunics or that tunic. He's not putting on multiple. But you know what I mean. Yeah, to wear them for one day. Now I, I am proud to represent uh, the the hero. And conveniently enough, uh, we're gonna be the hero, so I guess that work out, w works out. <laughs> it doesn't, like, I don't know, I just said that so weird. Yeah, definitely not looking all that comfortable. Kind of standing a little hunched awkwardly, and... Does it, it, it seems to fit kind of nice. It's maybe, a, maybe not down with the tights, I don't know. I don't know about you, but white tights are not really going to feel the greatest uh, for me, personally. But, uh, looks like Link can dig it. Yeah, let's let go. I to do this quick. Everything must go quickly. We've said, and, uh, in that fashion, we are going to go visit our sister, Errol. Who's gonna, who's still back up at the tower. Which is... Good, which means we get a quick little run back over the bridge. Note, blue rupee right there. We don't really need it. So, And because of the 10 minute things and uh, me wanting to do this as efficiently as possible. So even though I'm uploading only 10 minute videos, I can still actually like get some stuff done in each episode. I'm not going to grab them because the don't need them. God, Link looks so determined as he climbs this ladder. <laughs> Nothing will stop him. So, uh, why did Grandma want us to come talk to you, Errol? What's up? Yeah, I don't know if she made it. Seems like it was just kind of there. She never mentioned anything about making them. And, uh, I, I am kind of hot in them. They're kind of uncomfortable. Alright, so w she wants us to close our eyes and hold out our hands and most treasured belonging. Oh. I was a little worried it might be like a, a Barbie doll or something, but actually gave us a telescope. That's very kind of you. A telescope can actually be, uh, could be pretty useful. I think maybe this will be the start of our career of, uh, astronomy. Oh, and the special being in red makes it oh, I always thought that sounded like an innuendo. It's like the special gift. Uh, and I didn't mean to talk to her again. No, no, not saving yet. Let's look at the mailman, because that's what we're supposed to Oh, this is so, so finicky. There, look at the mailman. That's what you're supposed to do. Hey, mailman. Oh, uh, what's going on in the sky? Oh no, that does not look good. I mean, it's, it's a, a wild ho-oh appeared. 
no idea what that is. It seems like it might be pretty dangerous if they're launching cannonballs at it. Unfortunately, we have no ability to fight. Don't know how that's gonna go. But, uh, definitely gonna guess the, the answer is poorly. Oh, is that gonna... Nailed him. Bullseye. But now, this mysterious blonde-haired woman is falling into the forest that looks like it's cut out of cardboard. Uh, we should... Yeah. I think we'll go, uh, we'll go discover what's over there in the next episode. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one where we go and discover what exactly happened in the forest.